ChatGPT just came out with the most insane underrated update of all time. So I'm going to show you how to use it and it's going to improve your whole life by like a hundred times. So the old boring version, if you just ask it something simple like this, it can't tell me because it only knows information up to September 2021, which is like two years ago. Now let's go on ChatGPT4 and ask the same question. And again, it tells you the same answer. And now let's do something a little different, okay? When I click on ChatGPT4, I'm gonna go on this plugin setting that's Browse with Bing. Now let's ask it the same question. Would you look at that? Browsing the web. This is just like Bitcoin's price. It's very simple, but it gets a lot crazier. You can actually click on this and it brings you to the place it found Bitcoin's price at. Now I'm going to show you how you can actually install and use this plugin. So the one thing that does kind of suck about this is you do need to buy the full version. I know, I know, but it's worth it. I think it's worth it. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to buy ChatGPT Plus so you can use the plugins. And now you're probably like, okay, I bought the full version. Alexa, what the hell? It's still not there. I don't have the Browse with Bing option. Just wait. You have to do one more thing. Go on to settings. And then if you see this little side section here when you're on settings, it says beta features. Click on that. Browse with Bing. Turn that on. Go on ChatGPT4 and you should have the Browse with Bing option. Find me five of the latest, hottest AI news. And sometimes it does take a while. This one is not as quick as ChatGPT 3.5. Be patient with it. Just be patient, okay? Another cool thing about the Browse with Bing is it always shows you the source. So if you see these little green things, it always brings you to the original link that it found that information from. But it doesn't stop there. This is just the first article I found on Decrypt, but another cool thing you can do is copy the link of an article, go in at ChatGPT, and ask it to summarize the article for you. You don't even need to read anymore. You can just ask it to keep summarizing things for you. It's so easy. But yeah, I'm just going to stop this because it was more just an example, but the possibilities are endless. You can really do anything with this thing. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to be making another video very soon on how I use the plugins option with ChatGPT. So you don't want to miss that. And it's going to be crazy. Your mind will be blown. Okay, bye-bye. Ah. <laughs>